I would like to introduce you to my daily commuting e-bike. Yes, I use it every day um, to go to work, to the dentist, uh, to the hairdresser, to the shop, or in literal sense, uh, it's a substitute for a car. On average, I travel 40-40 uh, kilometers a day, and uh, only by using uh, hand throttle. Occasionally, I also do workout chill rides uh, using the pedal. The frame is aluminium, uh, which I bought as a cheap um, uh, second-hand one, as I needed a toner bike quickly in order to install an electric motor. There's not much to say here. Let's start with the most exciting part, the motor. The specific motor is a 1000 uh, direct drive uh, mm, motor purchased from England in the late summer of uh, 2018 for 450 euros. Uh, I didn't know first that AliExpress even uh, mm, ex uh, existed. The inside motor is full of uh, magnets and only moving uh, bearing parts are sealed. Uh, uh, sealed ball bearings on both sides uh, weighs about 6.5 kilos. These ball bearings uh, last a very long time. When it's time to replace the uh, ball bearings, the appropriate ringing, shaking in the hand will be heard or felt while uh, driving. The current millage of this motor is uh, 36,000 um, uh, kilometers, and I have changed the ball, uh, ball bearing twice although there's no immediate need. The first time I changed it at uh, 60,000 kilometers and, uh, and the second one uh, 17,000 uh, kilometers. Mm. The ball bearings were undamaged uh, and could run me maybe even 30,000 kilometers. Uh, I just like to avoid problems before they uh, mm, occur. Mm, it should th I should mention that the ball bearings are on different sizes on each side. Uh, also, they are under 10 euros uh, bearings only, so um, pretty cheap to uh, keep up. Although these direct drive motors are quite uh, foolproof and robust, uh, the main air concern are spokes. Uh, Mm, and uh, the rims. As the general rule, when you get new motor, it's a good idea to test the spoke, uh, spokes to get an idea how strong um, they are. Mm, in the first 1000 kilometers, the spokes can come loose and uh, start to break, uh, so adjusting the spoke is uh, essential. First rim that came with the motor only lasted 6000 kilometers. Uh, after uh, 5,000 kilometers, the rim brakes could not be used. After 6,000 kilometers, when I took the tire off, uh, the inside of the rim was cracked. But uh, the outside was absolutely fine. Um, mm, total disappointment. <laughs> disappointment. I went to a reputable bike shop to ask them to help me put together a new rim for my motor, but they couldn't, <laughs> couldn't do the job. and. I had to watch um, videos on YouTube but, uh, to build my own. Um, down the basement I found one of Extreme Airline 3 rims which I dismantled. Since the motor spokes have uh, larger diameter spokes and nipples, I cut the holes on the rim of the spokes uh, larger using a chainsaw on filer. Uh, you can also drill them but I found uh, and too risky. I used the original spokes which uh, were longer so the end of the spokes are inside the rim by about 5 millimeters. over dark but works. Here is the motor I built with the rim uh, mm, almost 30,000 kilometers on it but cracks have disappeared on some sides uh, and the rim would be need, need to be replaced again. Uh, this is where I've been thinking about uh, the front wheel drive motor, mm, but if the wear rims gives away, you can't, <laughs> you, you can't just buy it from a shop. 
I have been using Monator Mondial tires for years, uh, very durable and a puncture occurs every 6000 kilometers. Uh, it seems that the production of these um, tires have been sadly discontinued. Um, Mm, and this time I testing brand new tire called uh, Marathon Marathon uh, uh, Marathon Plus. Uh, they uh, advertise as having very good uh, puncture uh, resistance. Uh, resistance, sorry. <laughs> uh, it's too early to give statistics on how a particular tire performs. I still have um, a few Monator Mondial tires in the basement, uh, as well as a one brand new, and keep. Uh, <laughs> I'll give it as a memento. I have Monator Mondials on the front wheel, and uh, yeah, during the winter, winter I use uh, Monaton Winter Plus tires. Uh, these particular tires have been uh, driven for two winters and looking forward uh, to, uh, to third. I use a 26 kilo rated top peak as a luggage uh, uh, rack. I've been using for it for years, very strong. Uh, I like the separate tube uh, next to the luggage rack frame uh, for the bags. I use a uh, German made Ordile bag as my bike bags, uh, especially the classic back roller bags bought in 2050. Mm, very durable thickness are the plastic uh, Vastanek buckles, mm, uh, which can break, but these sold separately as a, as a, as a, as a spare. Uh, so, I would uh, definitely recommend anyone using this. Uh, Bags to buy a spare. Ordilep gives a uh, five years warranty on their bags, and rightly so. These bags have been seen all sort of conditions. Uh, I have accidentally put sharp objects, and uh, a couple of places have broken. Mm, I use sanitized uh, silicone to restore the waterproofing, although uh, mm, some do it yourself repair clothes are also uh, available. Moving on the front wheel, I use uh, Avid PB7 disc brakes system. For years I had used the rim brakes, but they wear out very quickly and also break the rim. Mm. Self-made glass fiber mod guards uh, for um, better protection against uh, clothes uh, getting dirty. Uh, Brook P70 saddle made in England. Uh, mm, this saddle also have been my other bikes. Uh, so in total, I've uh, uh, ridden about uh, 45,000 kilometers on it. Uh, this uh, winter, the bolt, the bolt light here, split in half. So it's a tension bolt to keep the top of the saddle hard. Uh, luckily, mm, with the help of uh, YouTube, I got it fixed by replacing the bolt and a couple of nuts. Of course, uh, there are spare parts are, uh, available for this um, uh, saddle. The handlebar at the first glance looks like a cockpit of an aircraft. Uh, this specific setup is for commuting in cold weather. Uh, I use a uh, mm, motorcycle handcore price around that. Uh, priced at around 12 to 20 euros on AliExpress to keep my hand better protected from the wind. Mm, with this uh, electric uh, hand warmer, it's perfect combo. Perhaps uh, there are usual hand grips with the 12 volt hand warmer system bought from AliExpress for 10 to uh, 5 to 10 euros on top. Installation is um, quite easy. The main thing is uh, that work to keep hand warm with the average power consumption of around 
um, 20 watts um, in warmer weather I remove um, both hand cords uh, and hand warmer uh, and replace for more uh, comfortable uh, grips uh, The particularly um, quicky thing here is a motorcycle rainproof cigar, the Liker socket. Why do you need it? Uh, <laughs> to charge your phone, for example, or use that 10 euros mini compressor to pump your tires. Uh, brace around uh, 10 euros on AliExpress. This is the DK50 battery colometer, priced around 42. 30 to 40 um, euros, so volt current wattage uh, and how many amps are amps are left uh, programm programmable. Mm, uh, in this case, it counts down the amps. A very useful. Next is a motor controller, controller computer. Uh, when I bought this motor kit from England, it came with uh, mm, uh, 20, 250 watt power limiter to unlock it. Uh, I had to send them sign a document that was I was uh, aware of risk and then sent me instruction with instruction how to take limiter off. I think it's a complete waste of time and nonsense. Uh, basically, one of the number needs to be changed here and the settings uh, use. Mm. It's full potential. The only thing I hate about this uh, this thing that shows the total kilometers traveled, it goes up to 9,999 9 kilometers, then reset back to zero. In my case, it could be a five digit number. It is a motorbike waterproof clock price at around four to six euros on AliExpress. Quite accurate and in indispensable for coming as um, not the rich watch uh, guy. For headlight, I use fog light from AliExpress, priced around um, 12 to 50 euros. Um, the rare light I use actually is a brake light. That light <laughs> lights up because once I accidentally put the light direct under 48 volts and uh, normal light circuit got damaged, so I do have to be extremely careful when messing uh, with the volts. So let's see what's under this ugly dress bag. Actually, this bag is for protecting against the rain uh, um, because sometimes you have to ride in heavy rain uh, in the winter. Instead of this bag, uh, you have to a uh, thick, uh, fluffy winter jacket to keep this um, battery warmer. This is a 20 hero converter which uh, converts uh, 48 slash 52 volts to uh, 12 volts. So lights, uh, lights, uh, hand warmer and uh, mm, um, the cigarette lighter can get the power they need. The motor controller is Kite 50 amps nominal and 30 amps peak power. The wires have waterproof blocks. There are two things I feel it lacks. The first is the lack of creative braking, which means that um, the brake pads wear out more quickly and the extra expense of finding new ones. Regenerative braking also provides a more powerful braking system uh, and in most cases you don't need to squeeze the bike, <laughs> bike own brake pass to get the bike to stop under normal conditions. Another thing is the audio, auto cruise feature. You can sometimes cross uh, longer distances with your hand cramping while holding the thumb throttle down in succession. An alternative would be by a cycle analyst onboard computer that supports the auto cruise um, feature. This uh, triangle uh, thing here is uh, 1.6 kilo at uh, 8 kilo 
38 volt battery and uses Panasonic uh, PF200 and 900 elements. I also use this battery occasionally on other bikes as a backup battery, so the mileage is about 40,000 uh, kilometers and uh, five years going. Thanks to the battery lasting a long time, I charge the battery up to uh, 80% uh, in summer and 90% in winter, on average 30% uh, uh, capacity left in. So battery life can be tripled this way. For battery, uh, it's worth doing a lot of background research on where to buy. It's definitely something uh, should not uh, skimp on. To sum it up, an incredible cheap motor that is foolproof, driving thousands of kilometers without problem, an ideal car replacement to save money. I don't do it to save money, uh, e-biking is a passion, getting onto places you can't get to with the car. The average annual mileage on this bike is 10,000 kilometers, as is, uh, it is mainly used for commuting rides and I have other electric bikes at home that I use uh, for so-called uh, Sunday rides. If this was my only bike, I would have mileage of 60 to 70,000 kilometers instead of uh, 38,000 um, kilometers. 